flight simulators are some of the most underrated types of games in the marketplace today. There's just something so peaceful about soaring through the skies and seeing a plane that you manage to make fly. But of course, that tranquility goes away when the warning lights start blinking. Flight simulator games are so much fun, and with the release of the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think it's time to start talking about all the fantastic flight simulators we've seen over the years. Here's a list of some of the greatest flight simulators ever that allow you to be a pilot without actually being a pilot. How many have you heard of? Let us know in the comments after you're done watching, and you better buckle up, it's time for takeoff. Hi, uh, this is your captain speaking. I just wanted to take a moment to highlight the brand new Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you're looking for the most recent, most up-to-date, most high-tech flight simulator, then this is the one for you. Just released this August, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator is probably the closest thing you can come to looking like you're flying a plane, other than, you know, actually flying one. Using accurate geographic data that's pulled from Bing Maps, a global cloud computing network, and real-time weather information, you probably have the most accurate and gorgeous flight simulator you can imagine. Take a load off as you soar through hyper-realistic cities and landscapes, but just make sure you know what you're doing. All that said, because this is a new game, it's hard to tell its major flaws. There are reports that people are upset with its massive file size, but given its scope, it's understandable why it needs over 100 gigabytes, right? Also, there have been reports of lags in certain areas, but again, I think it deserves the benefit of the doubt for bringing flight simulation to the next level. If you're looking for another incredibly accurate, incredibly detailed flight simulator, you will probably be happy with X-Plane 11. Though, like all good flight simulators, don't go into it thinking it's going to be easy. Trust me, it's going to challenge you. Developers of this flight simulator like to stress that their X-Plane isn't just a game, but rather it's an engineering tool. With over 30,000 airports and a very thorough mapping system, you'll find a lot to love here. And this next feature you might love, or you might hate, depending on what type of flight simulator you're looking for. The game is set up so basically any component of your plane can fail at any time, leaving you to scramble for a solution. It's definitely a trial by fire. Like most of these, it's not free, but you can download a 15-minute demo just to get a taste. Though, be warned, 15 minutes is not enough to fully enjoy this game, and you might find yourself wanting to buy the whole thing immediately. Plus, X-Plane 10 can be downloaded on your phone, so you can fly basically anywhere you want. I would say there are two big qualities that make Flight Gear one of the best flight simulators in the gaming world today. The first is that it's free. That's always a good thing. Maybe if I just stick to flight gear, I can save up for plane tickets to actually travel somewhere. But for now, I'm stuck spending all my money buying different flight simulators. But the free part is really just an added benefit. What's great about flight gear is that it's open source, meaning players have unrestricted access to customize or make any changes to the game as they see fit. This allows the game to constantly be upgrading and evolving. So although the built-in scenery can be a little limited, you can download over 20,000 airports directly from Flight Gear's website. Not everything about Flight Gear is seamless though. With it being bigger, bulkier, and has more complicated setup than others, the community behind Flight Gear is amazing. And if you're ever stuck, you could always take a gander at the Flight Gear Wiki, which has a ton of helpful information for when you can't figure something out. While the release of the new Microsoft Flight Simulator is something to cheer for, it means the previous versions are probably going to get left behind. So now here's a chance to honor the Microsoft Flight Simulator X, which before this new one came out was definitely the best Microsoft Flight Simulator. It had everything you love from a flight simulator game, but with some nifty added features like the ability to play as an air traffic controller to help organize and bring planes in. That's so cool. It also had the added benefit of having missions and hidden easter eggs, which gave the players an added incentive to travel around the world and do something a little different with its customizable flight skins and planes. Bottom line is, yes, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator is epic, but if you want to spend a little less money and still have a great time with a Microsoft product, then you could definitely get the Microsoft Flight Simulator X and still satisfy that aviation itch. All right, yes, we're living in an advanced age where flight simulators look less like video games and more like we're flying actual planes across the world. But don't you miss the classic PS1 days where everything was simple and blocky? No? Yeah, me either. 
And although the Flight Simulator YS Flight is nowhere near as bad as some low-res games, it still does technically pale in comparison to the awesome might of modern flight simulators. But it still has a ton of bright spots too. For one, if you want to play a flight simulator but don't want to download over 100 gigabytes of data just so you can see some pretty trees, then maybe it would be better to start out with something like YS Flight. Sure, it's limited in scope, but it still offers enough variety of planes and a good amount of recognizable maps to make it engaging for all flight simulator enthusiasts. Plus, it's free. Nothing beats free. Hey, we're all busy, right? We don't have time to just sit at a computer and learn how to fly a plane. And that's why Infinite Flight is such a winner. The flight simulator known as Infinite Flight is specifically made for iOS and Android devices. So now you can learn all about cruising through the skies from the comfort of your own phone. Stuck in line at the bank? Play Infinite Flight. Winning at the dentist? Play Infinite Flight. Watching something on one of your streaming services, but only half paying attention to it because you want to be on your phone? Play Infinite Flight. Besides being a totally immersive experience that has been praised by newbies and trained experts alike, Infinite Flight is fun in that it has a multiplayer option, which means you can work with human-controlled air traffic control as you work to land your plane. Sometimes flight simulators can get a little lonely, so it's nice to see Infinite Flight strive for a truly unique and multiplayer phone experience. Although other games have amazing graphics and more extensive 3D environments, there's something really cool about the Fly Inside Flight Simulator that sets it apart from the rest. It's that it is specifically designed to be a virtual reality experience. You can actually use a VR headset with this simulator, and it's a complete game changer. Yes, you can still play on a normal computer, but everything is taken to the next level as soon as you slip on that VR headset and use a VR motion controller. Then it starts to feel even less like a game and more like the real thing. Because really, all flight simulators in the future should be a VR experience. So Fly Inside is just ahead of the curve. There is a free trial you can check out, but the full version will cost you about 35 bucks. Of course, this only works if you already have a VR motion controller and a headset. So if you don't, the cost of partaking in this incredible flight experience will probably be much higher. Have you ever wanted to do something a little extra with your flight simulator? Like, did you ever want to take a break from flying an airplane from point A to point B to take a quick trip to the moon and back? What about Mars? I heard Mars is lovely this time of year. Well, that's the type of added fun you can find with GOFS. Again, this won't wow you with visual spectacle like some of the other flight simulators on here, but there are some things that make this little flight simulator stand out in a crowded field. For one, you don't need to download a full game to play it, because it's located entirely online. Just load up your nearest browser, go to geo-fs.com, and you'll be flying in seconds. Plus, it also has a lot of multiplayer interaction, with the game having a live map that tracks all pilots who are playing. All that and space travel sounds like the complete package. After all these flight simulators where you learn how to fly planes, you might be a little bored with them. So, why not switch things up a bit? You're already a master pilot now, so why not try your hand at the wacky world of helicopter piloting? In that case, you really need to check out Take On Helicopters. If you thought flying planes was hard, just wait as you try to master rotor wing flight. Take On Helicopters is an exciting game, because not only are you learning to fly a helicopter, but you're taking part in a really fun main story. You'll experience a wide variety of different missions that have you take on the role of Tom Larkin, whose civil aviation business is experiencing some tough times. And then that's mixed with flashbacks to Tom's brother Joe, who served in the military as a U.S. Army helicopter helicopter pilot. So it's a nice blend of civilian and military jobs that you take on in order to get your money to buy, upgrade, and repair your helicopters. Overall, it's a fun game. Kerbal Space Program isn't your typical flight simulator. It's kind of obvious right from the name. Yes, Kerbal is a space program simulator that sees you build your own spacecraft and help out the adorable alien race known as Kerbals as you become the head of their space program. It's all cute and colorful, but the actual mechanics behind the game are no joke. Although the design seems kid-friendly, the game has realistic aerodynamics and a pretty good grasp on orbital physics. You weren't expecting that, were you? But it's actually pretty high stakes. You have to basically explore space while keeping your crew alive, and that means engineering your ship to make sure it's perfect. It comes with a cool set of game modes, too. In sandbox mode, you can attempt to construct anything you want, no matter how large or expensive, and can be used to create replicas of 
real-life aircraft. In science mode, it keeps things simple with a limited amount of parts and helps newer players get adjusted. And then, career mode is basically science mode but with specific contracts and a lot more on the line. All in all, it's an awesome flight simulator, but maybe just not what you expect. Are you going to check out Microsoft's new flight simulator? Do you want to drop everything and learn how to fly a plane? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to hit that subscribe button for awesome gaming news from the gamer. Thanks for watching. Have a safe flight.